In this video tutorial, we will explain how to determine the nucleation rate with the induction time measurement method, using the Crystal 16 instrument. Prepare for samples of different supersaturation by weighing the compound in standard HPLC vials, and adding 1 milliliter of solvent. Supersaturation can be determined from the solubility curve, using the given formula, where CI is the concentration prepared and CS is the saturation concentration at temperature that is maintained constant during induction time measurement. Open the software and create a new Crystal 16 experiment. Fill in the experiment details like experiment name, username and description. Enable the feedback control feature, which reduces the run time for induction measurements. Next, select the cap type. Fill in the details of the feedback control feature. The interval for how long the target transmissivity should be maintained before the next step is triggered. Select the vial where you want the desired transmissivity to be achieved. Fill in the details of the four vials. Such as compound. Solvent. Concentration. Supersaturation. And stirrer type. Next, go to the program tab. First, increase the temperature by inserting the linear ramp. Fill in the end temperature. The end temperature should be above the saturation temperature of all the concentrations prepared. Fill in the heating rate at which you want to increase the temperature. And stirring speed. Hold the same temperature for some time to ensure all the compound is dissolved. Add a prompt step where you can check the samples. Followed by tuning which calibrates the transmissivity sensor to 100% transmissivity and is crucial to measuring transition points accurately. Check out the our tutorial video on how to do the tuning step. In the next row, decrease the temperature to a constant temperature to create supersaturation. The cooling rate should be very fast cooling rate of 20 degrees Celsius per minute called crash cooling. Maintain the same temperature or supersaturation for a long duration by using feedback control hold step. Mention if the transmissivity is going up or down, and the targeted transmissivity. Fill the duration for how long you want to maintain the same temperature. The feedback control will automatically go to the next step when targeted transmissivity is achieved. Next, increase again the temperature. At a slow heating rate. And hold at that temperature for some time. Repeat this thermal cycle at least 80 times by increasing the group repeat or directly putting the value. The programmed experiment is shown below. You can also perform the experiments in small sets and combine them with multiple analysis for 80 induction time data. After programming the experiment go to the run and results tab. Select the reactor where the vials are placed and start the experiment. You can check the live experiment trend on the graph. After the experiment is complete, go to the Analyze tab to analyze the data. First, go to Transition Points and click on Transition Point Detection Settings, which allow you to detect transition points by different methods. By selecting the Legacy Crystal Clear method, the system immediately runs the built-in algorithm on the loaded data to determine the cloud and clear transition points. This method will not use the settings below. By keeping transmissivity enabled, you can specify the criteria for transition point detection. Clear point threshold, enter the minimum threshold transmissivity value above which you consider your solution to be clear. Cloud point threshold, enter the maximum threshold transmissivity value below which you consider your solution to be nucleated. Minimum clear time, enter the duration for which you want to maintain the clear point threshold value. Minimum cloud time, enter the duration for which you want to maintain the cloud point threshold value. Minimum ramp rate to find an induction point and. Minimum time the ramp needs to continue before an induction point is found. After filling in the values, click on find all transition points, then click yes. The system will detect the transition points as per the given criteria for all four vials. Delete the transition points before the tune step. You can add or delete transition points by right-clicking on the graph. Zoom in by dragging the pointer and manually adjust the transition points, if needed. The induction time is measured as the time between the creation of constant supersaturation represented as a green cross sign. And the moment the nucleation starts as indicated by the cloud point. The induction times are given in the table below. 
Select or deselect the transition points from the table. Check the transition points in each vial. After selecting the transition points, go to the nucleation analysis. The nucleation analysis section displays induction probability fitting, induction probability table, nucleation rate fitting and nucleation rates table. If you have performed experiments in multiple sets, you can combine the experiments in multi-analysis tab. Click on new multi-analysis or open saved multi-analysis file. Load the experiment files by clicking on add experiments. Then, go to analyzes and select nucleation rate analyses. The induction probability fitting shows measured induction time for different supersaturations and corresponding probabilities, calculated using the given equation. You can select the curve to be shown on the graph by clicking on the label above. Zoom in by dragging the cursor. By right-clicking on the graph, you can select different options like reset zoom, copy image, export and crosshair. The probability plots are fitted using the non-linear least square method represented by the given equation. From curve fitting, nucleation rate, J and growth time TG for each supersaturation are calculated. You can select different curve fitting functions. Change the curve color by clicking on a curve and selecting the desired color. You can export the table by right-clicking. The nucleation rate fitting shows the plot relating nucleation rate and supersaturation using classical nucleation theory, given by equation shown on the screen. From the plot, by curve fitting, the nucleation kinetic parameter, A, and thermodynamic parameter, B, are determined. In the Files tab save the file by clicking on Save and Close. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us.